For this, this size kiln, which can hold about enough rungs for three or four chairs, uh, I have 300 watt light bulbs, incandescents. Where are you getting those? <laughs> I, I have a stash. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you a story about light bulbs. <laughs> My brother-in-law was over for Thanksgiving. And uh, there used to be a, a, a General Electric light bulb factory oh. in uh, Winchester. Okay. And he worked there for 25 years. The factory closed. He hadn't, hadn't worked there. But I said, did, you know, did you, did you have any under light bulbs? I said, yeah, I have a few. A few weeks later, he came here. He had a box, three feet by three feet, about that tall, filled with 95 watt light bulbs with brass spaces. Old school. Yeah, really, really good. <laughs> I filled four banker's boxes with that. <laughs> so I've insulated this with um, foil back foam insulation. Uh, I think, I don't think I insulate the bottom, top and sides. Uh, five racks that I can put the rungs on. And between the light bulbs, I think this is really important, and I'm not sure that everyone does that, but between the light bulbs and any part, one part, I have a sheet, just a sheet of um, sheet metal. It doesn't go all the way across, it's, but it's directly above the light bulbs. You got that, you're holding that up with a piece, with some pieces of steel too, right? Metal. Yeah, I think they're really. aluminum angle iron or something. They're just, they're metal. They're yeah, being they had, suspended be with metal and they're metal and they don't cover the entire surface, but they allow the heat, they keep the heat from going directly straight up to the park and potentially burning it. And then the heat just goes around that sheet metal and heats up. I, I have a, a oven thermometer here to keep track of temperature. Uh, people say 140, I get nervous at that temperature, so I'm 125 to 140. So it's more about heating the air and letting the air dry the parts instead of just shining hot light yes. directly yeah, on the parts. Yeah, you're heating the air. Okay. Um, there, there are holes in the top that um, sometimes I have parts like this that I only want to dry this tenon end and I can slip that in the hole in the top. Keep the rest of the holes covered. Not yeah. always. It, it, it's, a, it's a way, I don't have any really sophisticated method of regulating the temperature. In the summer, I may only have two light bulbs going. Okay. Now I have three. Um, sometimes I'll leave the door open a little bit and sometimes I'll uh, cover or not cover the holes. I've got a bunch of holes in the top so I can cover them or not cover them depending on what I'm seeing the temperature is. And you also have to let the moisture out. Yeah, right? so, it's and, good, and more yeah so it's it's not tight. I mean, there's no seams around yeah, you here. Can see light even, under if the door. even if this door was completely closed, it's not tight. Okay. But it does get up to, you can get it up to 140 pretty easily uh, with three uh, 100 watt bulbs.